This edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by Support Your App. Support Your App specializes in supporting Mac and iOS apps since 2011. When your app gets featured in the App Store, Support Your App will help you deal with the avalanche of customer feedback, will help you build your support processes faster, and will save your developers time to focus on the product. Learn more at supportyourapp.com. Mac Voices is in San Jose for AltConf and WWDC. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, this time we get to talk to another one of the AltConf sponsors, Topology Eyewear. And I have to admit, I was a little confused about what an eyewear company was doing at a developer's conference until Alexis told me what's going on. And then I really came to appreciate it. So I want to let him tell you about it. Alexis, good to see you. Hi. Nice to meet you, Chuck. So tell me about Topology Eyewear and why you're at a developer's conference. Well, uh, one way we have of putting it is that this is undoubtedly the most eyewear-enabled pair of glasses that anyone or iOS-enabled pair of glasses that uh, anyone sells anywhere. Uh, but that's not really what it's about. Uh, the point is that the glasses we sell are 100% custom fit glasses. And what custom fit means is not that we have like three or four sizes and we make sure we give you the right ones. What custom fit means is we make a detailed three-dimensional model of your face. We capture exactly where your ears are, the exact shape of your nose. And then all those measurements that we make of your face are actually used to manufacture an individual pair of glasses just for you. And the way we do this is by leveraging a lot of the technology that's built into iPhones. It's, it's very iOS driven. So we have an app in the App Store. You can just search for it under Topology. And with that app, you go through a face registration process, a little like what you'd use, what, what you do on the iPhone X. But you don't need an iPhone X for this. You can do this with any iPhone. You take a video of yourself, you just turn your face right, and left. And then we have our own computer vision stack we've built up with our own machine learning models that processes that video in order to get the model of your face. And then on that same app, uh, after a couple minutes when we've processed the video to get this detailed model, you can virtually try on different pairs of glasses. You can try different styles, different colors and materials. You can look at normal prescription glasses or at sunglasses. And when you found something that's just the way you want, you can order it right there on your phone. And all those measurements go into driving the manufacturer and driving the work that our uh, technicians do to make sure we're, we're making a pair that fits you perfectly. Okay, so it sounds so simple, but there's a lot of technology going on here. Um, and, and I'm really intrigued because the glasses look great. Um, they clearly, I, I love the idea of a custom fit. You know, we've all heard about these things where you go into a scanner and you have the jeans or the slacks cut for you to exactly you. But this makes it super easy because I don't have to step inside a body scanner. I just am using my iPhone. Yeah, I mean, this is only possible because of the technology in the iPhone. Uh, so we're relying on the front camera for the original scan that's used to get the shape of your face. But in order to get the accuracy that we need, there's actually a later stage in the process where we're relying on the back camera just because it has a higher resolution sensor on it. Um, it's, it's funny, the talk that I gave yesterday, I think it was, is called Augmented Reality Beyond AR Kit. And that's because even though we're an augmented reality application, this virtual try-on is an augmented reality experience, you can't do what we're doing with AR Kit. AR Kit only works on the iPhone X. AR Kit doesn't know everything we need to know about the face. It doesn't know where your ears are, for instance, but that's really important if you're making a pair of glasses because you know you need the temples to get all the way to your ears. And AR Kit's not physically accurate enough. I've done benchmarking, and uh, in the work I've done, it seems that AR Kit measurements can be as much as seven millimeters off. And for good optics, when you're measuring something like the distance between the pupils, the pupillary distance, you need to have at least uh, you know two millimeters. And we're underneath that threshold, and we've only done that by, by building up our own technology for it. Makes perfect sense. Um, so, Oaks, you've got these great measurements, but now how do you handle, the, for the physicality of the, of the eyewear, but how do you handle the prescription lenses? So we don't measure your prescription ourselves. There's a lot of regulation which would not make that possible. So what you do is you bring the prescription that you get from your optician to us, and we take it from there. We do the frames and lenses. And in fact, it's because we do the frames that we can do a better job with the lenses. Because we have this model, we know exactly where the lenses are going to sit with respect to your eye. And if you just think about the physics of it, uh, if you want a lens to work properly, you, you need to know where it's going to be. Also, since we know what your prescription is when you place your order, we know how thick the lenses are going to be. 
And since we know how thick the lenses are going to be, we can manufacture the frames so they're going to hold the lens properly. It's not like we have a pile of frames somewhere and a pile of lenses somewhere and we're just snapping them together. Everything's being custom made for you. I should say that it's not, um, although we depend on a lot of technology, we take all these measurements, we do them with computer vision, we have computer controlled milling machines and laser cutters that, that, that make the glasses. It's not pure technology. We, we also look at every order that comes in individually. We have technicians who look at the model of your face, look at the model of the glasses, match it. We send you a prototype first, which is there for you to test the fit. Just like if you were getting a, a custom tailored suit made, you know, you wouldn't just go to the tailor once, you go a few times to make sure it's right. And only when you've approved it do we actually send you the final version. And it's all, you know, 100% guaranteed. If, if you don't like it after that, that's it. We just, we just uh, give them back to us and you get your money back. I, I, I like what you said about, you know, there's not a pile of lenses here and a pile of frames over here, that they are absolutely custom made. How, how are you actually doing the manufacturing process? So it's all manufactured in San Francisco. Because we've developed this technology, it's not something that you could develop by having a person in one continent, continent who's developing software and then he sends a bunch of numbers over to a person in another continent and they like make the frames and we hope it all works out. We've got an office at 16th and Potrero Avenue in San Francisco. And one part of it is software engineering, where we have software engineering uh, for iOS. There's another part that has the machine learning development area. And there's another part which has acoustic isolation, so you don't hear the manufacturing noise. And that's where the actual production happens. That's where we have the manufacturing robots. That's where we have uh, the laser cutter. That's where the technicians are. And because it's all under one roof, when someone's looking at a model or looking at what comes out of a piece of software, they only need to walk across the room to talk to the people who are working on the production machines to see how it's all coming out. It's that fully integrated operation that allows us to achieve the quality we're aiming for. That's great. It, it, it's really impressive. Um, it's also a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> really, yeah, I bet. It's really cool to be working on something that is, you know, kind of mundane in a way. It's glasses. It's not like rocket ships or something like Elon Musky. Uh, it's kind of mundane, but we're still getting to use these amazing technologies to create something that actually meets a need. You know, because the thing is, you know, when I first heard the idea, I thought, well, this sounds kind of cool, but isn't it a bit frivolous? Like, this is like real Silicon Valley, super luxury craziness. Like, who needs custom fit glasses? Because honestly, myself, I didn't really need them. When I, when I put on glasses, they pretty much fit, and I didn't think about it. But one of the things we've discovered is that uh, the people who really respond to our product, our sort of most passionate customers, are not right now people who are in it for like a super luxury feeling. Uh, it's a, a certain fraction of the population who has a real persistent problem finding glasses that fit them well. It turns out that if your face is not uh, the mathematical average, if you're like a, a smaller face than usual, then might, right now you might feel like you're sort of forced into the children's section. Or if you have a bigger head than usual, you might feel like you keep looking and all the glasses are like stretched out. Or even if your face is just less Caucasian than usual, you know, for the United States, you might find that um, glasses like mine, uh, glasses made from Italian acetate, they don't like fit on your nose properly because they were designed with a different nose in mind. So for all these reasons, there's a significant fraction of people whose experience of trying to find glasses that fit is uh, really frustrating. And it's just great. One of the things that's been really gratifying to discover as we've built this is we're not making a product for uh, sort of crazy luxury. We're making a product because it just meets a practical need people have. And that's it was sort of unexpected, to be honest, but it, it's good. Well, it's 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 got to feel good, and you know, we all we all like custom fit things if, if we can get them. But sometimes some you can't. Actually, need them. Isn't yes, they? Like exactly, them, but like exactly. Them. And that that feels great. That feels great to know that we're putting all this stuff together uh, to meet a real kind of non-made-up crazy need. So, how about the pricing on this? What uh, is there a flat pricing, or they, it depends on the uh, the, the, the uh, material of the frames? It, it costs a bit more for progressive lenses or some some complexities like that. But basically, frames and lenses together usually comes in at around six hundred dollars, and that's with all of the kind of very high quality lenses and with all the treatments that you'd want, uh, scratch resistance and, and UV protection and, and that sort of thing. So it's in the same price range as other premium eyewear, but it's different from other premium eyewear in that it's made exactly for you. It's made for you and, and it's guaranteed or, or not. It is guaranteed, yeah. So there's a money back guarantee. If you don't like them, you get all your money back. 
I mean, that, that's a real, to be honest, that's a real uh, uh, challenge for the business because if everyone didn't like their glasses, it's not like we can sell them to someone else. They're made for your nose, not for someone else's nose. But the, way we, the reason we set it up that way is because we want to set it up so that we're forced to keep focusing on delivering maximum quality. That's wh where we think our strength is, and so we want to organize our offer around making that not only something people can count on, but making that something that's just necessary. Got it. Uh, the website where folks can go to learn more and maybe order their own. Yeah, uh, you can go to the website topologyeyewear.com. We have a little experience there that also explains what are the reasons for common problems people have with glasses and how ours specifically address those. You can also just go right to the App Store uh, and search for Topology Eyewear and you'll find our app and you can have the same uh, experience and try it all on from in the app. It takes about 30 seconds to scan your face. It's very similar to the face, face ID registration process on the iPhone 10. It's just a little different. So I can download the app, play with it, and then maybe decide to uh, order or not. Yep, happens right all there in the app. Alexis, thank you so much. Great, uh, great product. Really interesting, the whole thing. And the fact that you're at uh, AltConf makes it even more interesting. So uh, thank you. Thanks, thanks. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun to work on, and uh, we've got a great team and really enjoy it. Folks, we'll have more from AltConf and WWDC in San Jose. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at Cashfly.com.